Hello, I'm Super Orange Cat, and here I am today with a bit of a Tanami news update. There have been some news updates that have happened over the last couple days, and I made this video here to kind of just summarize them. So the first big news update is, yesterday we got the ratings for the last week's, last week's Tanami, and they are as follows. My Hero Academia at a .29, Dr. Stone at a .22, Sword on a Line, Alicization, War of the Underworld at a .22, Fire Force at a .23, Food Wars at a point two three, Demon Slayer at a point two one, Black Clover at a point one seven, Golden Wind at a point one six, Ship It In at a point one nine, a rerun of the Promised Neverland at a point one five, and a rerun of Attack on Titan at a point one four. Overall, this was an amazing week for Tanami in terms of ratings. I mean, I kept mentioning about how we're never gonna hit point three again with Dragon Ball being off the block. No show can pull on that audience. And then you have My Hero Academia coming up barely short of that at .29 this week. I believe it is the highest rating an episode of My Hero Academia has ever gotten on the block of Tanami. Even back in Season 1, it wasn't pulling in these numbers. Which is showing that the gambit to just straight replace Dragon Ball Super with My Hero Academia is showing signs of working. Although we'll get a little more confirmation of that next week when the 8 p.m. hour is replaced by... My Hero Academia shows, which used to be Dragon Ball shows, so maybe that has a ripple effect on that, Tanami's ratings, but we can only see that next week. And some other things I want to point out is, War of the Underworld debuted by building on Dr. Stone. And as good as Dr. Stone's numbers have been, even the last few weeks pulling in low point, low, low point twos, it started to develop this trend of being built on, which is something you don't want to see from your second show in the block. And really, everything in this block, that is the only downside, is that a show is getting good numbers, but is being outdone. You know, which raises the argument maybe War of the Underworld should be even earlier in the block, but uh, stay tuned on that. That's going to be updated a little later in this video. And then after that, you have Fire Force building on War of the Underworld at a, at a .23. And then you have Food Wars building on that. So... I mean, especially considering the bizarre, like, kind of the bizarre concept of having Food Wars on the block. Literally, just look at the list of all these shows here. That is the one show that does not fit, or is the poorest fit, at least among these other shows. But it's doing well. And when you can say it built on Fire Force, it built on Sword on Line, and it built on Dr. Stone, that's impressive. Especially at 1 in the morning. Which... Might lead to the reason why it's still at 1 a.m., but again, more on that later. You have Demon Slayer pulling in a .21, which not as high as Food Wars, but if you're pulling in that number at 1.30 in the morning, then that's that's pretty darn good right there. Black Clover, .17. I mean, it looks disappointing when you compare it to the shows in front of that, but all things considered, that's a good number for Black Clover to have. Same thing can be said for Golden Wind. Ship it in nearly getting a point two at 3 a.m., albeit with... Uh, Bit of a boost from delayed viewing, which shows after 3 a.m. do get according to Nielsen's rules. I mean, but that's still nearly impressive, and you really can't shake anything at Promise Neverland Attack on Titan's numbers either. But like I said, very solid week for Tanami. And now I have a second piece of news that happened this week. Actually, this was earlier today. We got the announcement for Tanami's schedule starting February 8th. The week before February 1st will be the last airing of Fire Force on the Block as it comes to an end. And usually I would be talking about what show is going to replace it, and me usually making a completely wrong guess. But we're actually not going to get a replacement. The block is just going to shorten by 30 minutes. With the changes being that Demon Slayer, which had been for the longest time languishing at 1.30, be shoved up to 12.30, making it the earliest it's ever been on this block. Food Wars will stay at 1 o'clock. And then from there, every other show just gets shifted 30 minutes upward. So Black Clover's 30 minutes upward. So probably the first time in like two, three years, Black Clover's actually gone up in the block. If you don't consider that schedule, we almost had that one time where it would have been moved up to like 11 o'clock or something. Golden Wind's up 30 minutes. Ship It Ends up 30 minutes. The Promise Neverland at 3. And Attack on Titans at 3.30. So not that much to analyze here. Except for usually when I'm talking about a contraction of the block, that usually is not a good sign. Like, in a vacuum, if you're like, oh, it's shortening, you think, oh, what's wrong with Tanami? Cutting Tanami, they're cutting Tanami's budget. My theory is, they pre-planned the budget for this year. My, plans that, my, my theory is that they pre-planned it, 
And knowing that quite a bit of money is going to have to go to promoting Uzumaki, which will be coming late this year, probably, they decided we can cut we can cut a corner or two by having maybe not not have another show fill up a certain spot, you know. And that's probably what their measure was here with Fire Force ending. And Fire Force, although being in a kind of a lucrative spot. It really wasn't a show that did that well enough that immediately had to follow that up with something impressive, especially considering that the lineup they have now is pretty darn solid, even with the reruns considered. So I don't think Tanami had to replace it. And again, this schedule also disproved a prediction that I made a little while back, mentioning how I thought that Demon Slayer would probably never move up from 130, because despite it getting pretty good numbers at its slot, I theorize that, considering how many weeks it spent at 1.30, then there must have been some logistical issue to keep it that late in the block. Probably the content of the show. But that's been proven wrong, because it just got shifted. It just got leapfrogged over Food Wars. And that's another prediction that's so far proven incorrect that I made that I kept theorizing Food Wars was going to slowly move down the block over time. But for the past, like, 20 weeks or so, it's been holding firm at 1 a.m., so another thing I made wrong there, as I'm starting to build kind of a reputation around here for making incorrect predictions. So, I mean, I mean, if I say anything, it's going to end up being wrong. So I'm not going to bother guess about what the future of the block is. Except for noting that if you told me one month ago at the start of this year that Tommy would be pulling in high point twos with most of the block over point two, and with the schedule that's top down solid shows, and they would pick up War of the Underworld, I would have said that's probably your best case scenario. So really, Tanami's on a great trajectory right now. Like, overall, you have cable TV with diminishing ratings over time due to cable cutting, due to a focus on streaming services. However, Tanami has found a way to kind of weather this storm in a way that almost no other block or TV network has been able to do, which is really impressive considering how Anime is kind of at the forefront of the streaming culture, because uh, many of these shows, you can just watch streaming and watch the episode that will probably air the upcoming Saturday already somewhere. Like, My Hero Academia is a few weeks behind. Like, you can watch the sub right now if you have uh, Funimation, I believe. So, I mean, and it's still pulling in this devout fan base to keep watching week after week, something I find impressive. So, like I said, Toonami's, the state of the union of Toonami is pretty darn good right now, you know. So, what do you guys think? What do you think the state of the block is? What's your feeling on these ratings? What's your feelings about the new schedule that'll start February 8th? So, we're still a few weeks away from that. What's your opinions on it? Leave your comments down below. If you want this content, if you want more Toonami news content, please like this video. Please subscribe and hit that notification button.